expanding in the UAE. Is there plenty of demand from these oil-loving buyers? Well, I think Tesla has a plan to get into as many foreign markets as it can. It obviously has a rising middle class that likes flashy cars, and that's a Tesla for you. <laughs> flashy cars, indeed. Get, let's get, take it out to Eric in L.A., someone who's worked closely with Elon Musk. World expansion, that's going to be the dream? I think it is. I mean, clearly, Elon dreams big, and, and this was clear from the early days. When I had the pleasure of working for Elon, as, as, long, uh, as well as with Peter Thiel, Max Levchin, Reid Hoffman, a lot of other... Uh, now famous names across Silicon Valley. Elon dreamed big from the very start. He had very big goals. He started um, X.com, a company that uh, was uh, intended to disrupt online banking, and that merged with uh, Peter Thiel's company, Confinity, to make PayPal. So I think from the very start, you could tell he, uh, he dreamed big and he uh, was going to swing for the fences. Let's talk about the dreaming big, Dana, because the scale of Elon's ambitions here, if you look at what they want to target by 2020, we're thinking finishing Gigafactory, we're thinking more models, we're thinking autonomous vehicles. Can you run us through really what they're going to achieve? Yeah, well, 2017 is a pivotal year for Tesla because this is the year that he has promised to unleash the Model 3, which is the more affordable sedan. Volume production is supposed to begin in mid-July, we believe, and 373,000 people at last check have reserved the car, so that you have a lot of people really waiting for this car to come out, and it's the key to Tesla's profitability. Quick question, Eric, do you have one? Uh, a model, a model three. I wish I had one already, but uh, no, not this a model out three, <laughs> but one of one of the previous models. No, not one of the previous ones. We're waiting for the uh, the three to come out, and and like uh, thousands of other people around the country, I'm very excited to see it. <laughs> you and me both. Give us a sense of Elon's utopia, though. He's he's a very emotional person. Speaks very emotively and often sort of reduced to tears about some of the real areas he wants to grow into, particularly about saving humanity being one of them can you give us a sense of really where he wants to take this company and what he sees in terms of its reward for humanity well that's a great question i, I think it was looking back to 15 17 years ago when we were working together um, for uh, for a, a year or so there it was uh, it was hard to kind of see what he would become i mean he, he became uh, an extremely um, uh, amazing figure in some ways really the uh, sort of the, the the poster child of entrepreneurship in a lot of ways. I think he's maybe the most pronounced uh, entrepreneur uh, in America today. And, uh, and really, what does an entrepreneur want to do? They want to change the world in some small way. And when you think about what Elon is, uh, is doing, his interests are quite diverse beyond his, his companies uh, that include electric cars, spaceships. Uh, he's developed uh, the, the plans, at least, for the Hyperloop. Uh, he's working a lot on artificial intelligence these days. Uh, he, he was in the media just this morning talking about how uh, human consciousness uh, we'll need to have some sort of uh, uh, technical upload uh, in order to compete with artificial intelligence in the future. Uh, I, I don't know if utopia is quite the right word, but he certainly is interested in making the world better. And I think that's something to, uh, to commend him for, uh, from both his entrepreneurial activities all the way to his uh, political activities, his uh, uh, decision to uh, stay on and advise the president in the face of some controversy. Yeah.